You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. So today is Friday, May 21st, 2021. When the clock strikes midnight tonight and the calendar rolls over to May 22nd, it will be the 10 year anniversary of the Joplin, Missouri EF5 tornado. This lot is barren as it looks, as trash filled as it is, holds great meaning to me. This empty lot changed my life. You see, this vacant lot used to be a nursing home until May 22nd, 2011 at 5.41 p.m. That's when an EF5 tornado ravaged the heart of this community, Joplin, Missouri. EF5 is the strongest tornadoes get. This is the heart of the medical community. It was bustling. There were schools nearby, uh, an electric substation, a couple of hospitals nearby. Prior to the tornado, there would have been a seven-story hospital standing in the background behind me. That hospital was moved off its foundation during this massive tornado. Quite honestly, I didn't think I would survive my mental and emotional torment to be alive on the 10th anniversary, and here I am. I made a promise that night in 2011, and this is part of that promise. As the tornado churned through the heart of Joplin, I was headed that way because friends were in the path of the deadly storm. Just minutes after the tornado plowed through at 5.41 p.m., I found myself running into the destruction and debris along with Matt Cantrell, my son. We located our friends, dazed and in shock, wandering in the street, their house missing parts of the roof, windows, and parts of walls were gone, exposing everything left inside. Matt safely gu guided our friends and their elderly neighbor to safety to an awaiting vehicle. It wasn't easy. There were live power lines on the ground, no cell service, lightning and rain overhead, and the roads were filled with debris, things that were once people's homes, schools, and vehicles. I ran to the nearby nursing home, the one where my great-grandma Dan Du died when I was a kid. It wasn't recognizable, just a, a huge pile of bricks and splintered wood and the facility van amidst the rubble. I assisted an off-duty fireman and slowly others joined us. As we pulled staff and residents out of the rubble, they were wet, cold, in shock, and many of them injured. I foraged through debris for blankets, mattresses, anything to provide comfort. I had taken off every bit of clothing I had to use as bandages and to keep elders warm. That night, 16 people in the nursing home died, 15 residents, and a CNA. That CNA was Keith Robinson. He was a career CNA with over 20 years experience, both acute and long-term care. He was a gentle soul who could motivate even the most stubborn of residents. Keith was found buried in the debris with his arms around two male residents, both known to have Alzheimer's disease. I can only imagine that as the storm neared and the staff worked to secure the safety of the residents, that Keith was hunkered down with these two men who probably didn't even understand what was going on. Keith gave his life that night trying to protect the residents just as many CNAs have given their lives over the last 16 months 
due to COVID-19. That is what CNAs do, despite little recognition, poverty level pay, and many times disrespect for their profession. I vowed to honor Keith every, time, every year at this time. I did so in my own way for several years. Then, over three years ago, with the help of the creative genius Gary Omart, I started this segment, CNA Heroes, with Keith Robinson being the very first hero honored. So today, Keith, it's been 10 years, and we still remember your heroism and dedication to the residents. You gave all you had for the residents, including your life. You will not be forgotten, nor will any of the other CNA heroes who have died in the line of duty, providing care to our nation's most frail and elderly. So today, let's remember and honor those who have sacrificed their lives to provide care for our loved ones. They are CNA heroes.